everybody and welcome back to Outer Worlds where uh, I messed up last time and it was not the, the episode was not the one that I I didn't upload that one that day that I thought I was going to turns out I had like three or four other ones that were from the stream that I needed to edit which meant I had to piece back together the audio by hand which was a nightmare and unfortunately for some people, I won't be able to play Final Fantasy this week because it's 10 o'clock at night and I have to leave in like eight hours to go to work. So it's, we're doing great. I'm, I'm awake. It's fine. I'm making a brawler. I'll tell you what. Like, I want to do some of the tech stuff, but I've been playing like a sneaky assassin in Ghost of Tsushima. And I'm, uh, I'm about ready to... About ready. Just go, go, go ham. Do you want to go ham on something? Um, I think for now, yeah, I got to do it in like a general one. And I'll do big old, big old melee. I want to be a big melee character. I think, isn't it, um... Oh, it's 50. You need 50 in. Okay. My long gun and my two-handed melee. That's what I'd like to do. Maybe not the most efficient. Or whatever. But it's, uh, it's what I want. And I'm always about them. I'm always about them persuade options. Okay, so that's okay. We're cool. I'm twenty there. At fifty, you can okay. Well, oh, there we go. So now, now I'm at twenty. Okay. It was doing, it was, it only does the specific tree with, not when you're on the general one, but when you're on the specifics. Oh yeah, two-handed melee, that's what I'm about. Oh, and, and we get the 20, nice. Unlock TTD location hit effects, is that like, for like specifically head and shoulders and whatever. Ah. Apply. Yeah, hell yeah. <gasps> By holding the attack button, you charge up an overhead power attack that inflicts significant extra damage. During this charge up during a standard attack, prepare a strong sweep attack. Oh, cool. Company power is not to be wasted on personal projects. Okay. Oops. Perk. Oh, I get a perk. Rick. Um. <laughs> Your friends have a lot to teach you about killing. Yoki. Okay. Um. I haven't had a problem with carrying capacity yet. Ooh, the plus five armor rating would be nice if I want to be. If I want to be a tank. Or just increase my base health. Let's maybe increase my base health. And then we'll do armor next time. Can I not? I don't level her up. I mean, I guess that's fine. And I can't, I just acquired this man as a friend, the vicar. We're gonna have the good vicar as our friend. Oh, and I had a, I had a friend let me know um, that there are no more companions in Edgewater. There are companions elsewhere, but I had him check for me. What am I, what am I selected to be doing right now? Right. Um... Uh... 
speak to the vicar. We got to go talk to Adelaide. I think I'd rather do a side quest. Robot. Getting out, getting out the same way. But yeah, so I'm still not sure if if the recordings are working because I haven't had a chance yet to edit that one. Oh, gross. It's like radioactive pig. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping everything's working. We'll see. I'll just, you know, sleep. If it, if it turns out everything's broken, I'll just be like, oh, well, <laughs> time to sleep. Oh, I'm drinking a soda at 10 p.m. I'm living, I'm, living, I'm living my best life. There are potentially things to look at out here, too. I, th I thought that was another graveyard for a second. Are there people to talk to down here besides that one guy? Is the water radioactive? Is the water safe? Okay, good. She's still with me. Although, maybe I should go talk to Vicar Man at my ship. Alright, I saw the perk that was like, increase your walking speed. And I was like, nah, my walking speed's fine. But it is, in fact, not. It is not fine. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> Wait, what? Or am I like... I'm like standing on some enemies right now. Are there like robots under us that are just waiting? They're just like waiting and that is so funny if it was. They're like just chilling under there. Waiting for that guy to stick a toe out or something. I almost feel like I'm, I need to like be more fully awake for this game to like really appreciate all the corporate depravity that we're going to be seeing. Freaking, is that a magma flow? It's amazing. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, are you just, you're just gonna... Oh, okay. I don't know how I'm not hitting you, I'm gonna be real. You are a freaky looking thing. It was just chilling next to that guy's body. Like it like he had owned it or something, and then Assistant, you are missing a leg. My good individual, why are you out here? Spaces trust ethno e ethologist, not ethnologist, ethologist assigned to Terra 2. So we got decided to study Terroroi mating habits. The female Terroroi's leave their nesting area in the morning and return in the afternoon with random objects, typically something shiny or bright. Then they build displays with these objects and perform what I can only describe as a dance for audience of males. If a male likes what he sees, the two go off and nest together in one of the nearby trees. Gerald, if you're reading this, I'm done waiting for you. Collect my things and meet me at the next site. Don't be like, I expect punctuality from my assistants. Yikes. Assistant got it. Assistants got it. And oh my gosh. Not even like totally. Just like a leg and an arm and then bled out. I don't know. It's a little... What are... Gosh, they're so cute. Are they are they aggressive? Can't be aggressive. Incoming. Ow. Oh my gosh, they are. Look at that. Oh, look at her go. Holy moly. They are not recommended for eating, chewing, or licking. Don't do that to any part of it. Oh my gosh, look at their faces. I wonder if they ate that person and that canine was just chilling, like, you know, oh, hey, man, when I'm hungry, I guess I can eat it. I 
should probably pull out the big guns for this. Oh, jeez. Hi, can I talk to you? Are you aggressive? Aw, oh, he ain't no threat. But I could fix him up smart. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. It's a, I could probably it's a... fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Uh, yeah. I actually can't do it. Go ahead. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, Jeremy. Not by Spacer's choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the by. Navigation systems operational. Optimal upgraded agent. Okay, not sure how much of that got lost. I don't think it was very much, but apparently this little robot's name is Jeremy, and it's got its navigational mod fix, and now it's doing great, and it's just real cute, and I don't see anything wrong with this little bot. I think its navigational thing was messed up, and now it'll be fine. Now it'll go where it needs to go and won't bother this guy. Uh, I don't think she named it. I think it has a name already, but I'll say, Parvati, why did you name the mechanical? On account of I fixed oh, it. Oh, she did name him. And he's Jeremy on account of his helmet. It's like Jeremy, the officer in True Romantic Tales of the Space Guard. Is that an Aetherwave serial or something? Hebsa Shirley. I make a point to watch every Tuesday night. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. She named him. That's adorable. Oh, a model spaceship. I am kind of curious what might be going on. Oh, I think I gotta let this guy know that the robot won't be bothering him no more. I'll be like, yeah, no, I totally took care of it. I took care of the situation. Don't even worry about it. How did I take care of it? Did you, I it not doesn't the details are a bit much. I don't know, man. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Is he? Oh, I was like, is he alive? Like, what happened? He just loaded in just now. Hey. Bring us honor, soldier. I'll do my best. You don't have to worry about that scout. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its head case? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. Yeah, it's, it seems to be an active You're one. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. <gasps> what you a need weapon. is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina, lavatory. Behind what? one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. You hid your... Secure oven in a, lavo a lavatory. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find it. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Okay, bye. Oh, I'm 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 disgusted, but I have to go look. I wonder if I could have found it beforehand, or if uh, you, you would have had to have done this quest, you know what I mean? Ooh, a manta pillar! A praying mantis caterpillar! Oh, wow! It's like a little blue egg, and it's a little, and it's a little, little arva? And then a, with wings, and then it turns into a bigger one with no wings, and then it turns into a pupae. I don't, is it a larva? Oh, man. Oh, my bad. It's been a long time since biology class. And look at that. We get to see its whole innards with its poop machine. Oh, but I did look up how to sheath the weapon, by the way. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Wonder if the plague's ever gonna... Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, apparently we're uh, we're trying to do herd immunity here now, too. It's You're great. Drinker, we're doing great. You? No, I'm not a drinker. 
I'm here for the poop machine. Oh my gosh, did he put it in the did he put it in there? I don't I don't know how to access it. That's the um I'm a little I'm like uh like Aha <laughs> What is it? What is it? gonna tell me I have to go back to him again maybe he's gonna open it for me I think this is the front of the building but it's okay mantis swarm oh look how tiny it is this is this is the baby one I want to wear armor It would be cool to be a scientist, and it seems like maybe, well, I don't know. I don't know if they hold scientists in high regard in this society or not. Yeah, I haven't really met one. I'm starting from the bottom, and I'm working my way up. Yeah, this is the opposite side. I should have just gone the other way then, but the game was like, go this way, and I was like, I am a mindless follower. I will do what you say. I guess there's really no... Is there a door here? No, nope, not a door. Not much to explore. But it is cool that there's stuff out here. <laughs> Open this sealed package. I, I don't want to touch it. Bring us honor, soldier. I found that package you mentioned. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver Ooh. a lethal blast of electrical discharge. It's a science I weapon. I call it the hand of the law. Science weapon. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Uh, how do I use it? There's a workbench right through this door. Oh. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. I could I put I it on my. I'm for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. What? I gotta go there anyway. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. I got it, I think. I've already got a passcode. I feel like I'm gonna regret getting mixed up in this. No. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. <laughs> I need you to get us the brain of a mechanic. What? Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. Logic. What are you planning? Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. Okay. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. It's not that hard. I mean, uh... Perception. Edgewater in the middle of nowhere. You don't have a contact. Well, excuse me. Excuse what me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. Didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around here. <laughs> <you. laughs> yeah. How am I supposed to get a logic module? There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're going to have to find an intact model somehow. What? Parvati, is this something you can help with? I don't reckon so. Oh. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. <laughs> Keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. Mm. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Thank you. It's all I could ask for, you know? the end of the day, just pour one out for me. <laughs> and I'll be good. Oh, a 
let's see. This is, this is taking longer than I thought. By auto mechanicals. I mean, I get. I mean, I guess maybe he doesn't know anything about it, but um. But like, I'm sure there's. I mean, they make these things. Like, they don't make themselves, as far as I know. Like, there's there's obviously people who know how they work. You know. Uh. I'll do this one because the. Hang on. Where's. How far is it saying I'm gonna have to? Yeah. Oop, wrong one. And the robot one. Yep. They're in a, basically the same spot. All right, we're getting out. We're getting out. We're looking at things. Although, where is my? Where's my ship? landing site and I could just fast travel let's go let's go to my ship really quick actually I'm kind of curious mm -hmm. defeat our foes oh help the chairman and minister Clark mm-hmm mm-hmm okay mm-hmm <laughs> oh you can flag items in your inventory is junk oh that's so handy. I love it when they do that. <laughs> oh, it's so... Okay, the tactical time dilation, like, it changes its, like, um, speed. You guys still, you guys still chilling? Don't worry about it. Just the vicar. I sent the vicar out here just, you know, to have a look. Yo, uh, ship, how's it going? I, I brought you a friend. What can I do for you, Captain? Goodbye. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to talk to you unless you've, uh... Oh, wow. If I'd been able to get out here, I so would have stripped this for parts. I think... If your equipment is in need of repair or modification... Oh, yeah. The Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. I suppose everything on the unreliable <laughs> belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. Thank you so much, Ada. That's just so kind. Select the item you wish to upgrade and then choose what kind of mod you want to install. I hope I can put the electricity one on my melee weapon. <laughs> Jacques weapons are built for the discerning warrior who wants a custom and personalized weapon just like everybody else. Alright. I wanna... Oh, I'm gonna, mm. oh sure. Alright. Okay, cool. We got the electricity on that one. I realize it's probably like Ah, be be kind of careful. Blah blah blah. Ooh, there's electricity on the. Oh, I didn't realize that one. I had already uh, freaking something installed on it. That's dope. Anything else? Can I can I look at other things? Oh, also I got a sawed up shotgun, so I could. Oh, oh, what is? Oh, that's the racket ball, toss ball thing. Don't mind me. I'm just exploring Firefly here. It's so weird to not see hands pop out in front of me when I'm climbing a ladder. What's this? Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself, right before he died. Shh. I'm Al- am I Alex? I can't remember what my fake name is. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Our body can help. Once I get over the moral quandary. <laughs> can I... Oh. Of what I'm supposed to do. There's actually way more to this ship than I thought. 
You got layers going on. This is really nice. I like it. See you. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Shh, they don't know that I'm not Alex. She Maybe she really did like Alex. I don't know. I thought she was, like, pretending to like him. Didn't the... Didn't the vicar say he was gonna be... At my ship? Maybe he's outside. I don't know why he'd be chilling outside. Although I don't think Ada would let him in, I guess. Well, it is what it is. Wrong button! It's fine! Mm, let's just run over there. Do I get shields? What are those? Are they like four more humans? Or I should probably pay attention to which direction I'm going. Or like, um... Like what I might run into. Those things are big and scary. Oh, come here! Take that. Hang on. Okay. Ooh, another, uh, another blade thing. How come I am not hitting you? I can't, I, no. I am not alright because apparently I can't hit anything with this giant stick. Marauder encampment. Yo, what up? I'm going in. Come out. Oh, that's Parvati. Hang on. Hang on, I'm helping. I swear I am. Alright, there's somebody over here. I mean, it, it feels nice. I need to practice doing a charge, I think. Oh, that's rough because it's gotta gotta do it like right on the exact spot i just exploded oh it's always hunting season when you're armed with a tnl hunting rifle apparently this was birdie cotton i didn't even mean to be doing this but here i am doing it that was way easier than i expected ha Hey, where did all the rest of the bodies go? They've got they've got goodies. Oh my gosh, I'm probably going to really wish I had gotten that inventory upgrade. There's a lot of stuff to be getting. Is that a, oh, I was like, is that a peach? Mock apple juice, space of straw. I should maybe be reading the, um. Oh, dang, you could go, oh, 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 come on. You go up there. You got a nice lookout station up there. Mag to zap. I think I got most everything. How convenient. Hmm.
watch that like other bodies there were actually, you know, other mercenaries I was supposed to kill. I assume they're far apart from each other, but that could maybe be a silly assumption on my part. Ooh, what's that? And with that, we'll leave this episode off here, because I think we're at about the half an hour mark. I could be wrong. It's fine. It's 1030 at night. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope you're enjoying it. Seems like you guys are still enjoying it. So, uh, anyway, yeah, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.